Hey guys, Chris Redmond, Fit to Nottingham, personal trainer. Just sending out a quick email to my list regarding regarding knee pain. We've, we've seen a lot of people um, this week, start of September, who come back from holidays and they've been just been suffering with aches and pains. And um, uh, huge amounts, maybe five, ten people have uh, had this exactly the same scenario, especially new clients who we've, we've ne never seen before. Uh, the the aches and pains are just a, a side effect of sometimes being sedentary, but one of the major causes is where your body just adapts to being seated too often. So um, let me explain. So knee pain is, is generally a direct result of sitting too much. So let me say, so what happens when we sit is that the body creates a tightening and a shortening of the muscles in the hips, what we call the hip flexors. There's many muscles in the hip flexors, but we'll, we'll keep it basic. Um, so when the body gets a tightening and shortening of these muscles which sit into this position, it tends to pull a, a bit of a pressure imbalance. And what it does is it tugs the pelvis forward and it creates something called anterior pelvic tilt, which is a bit of a mouthful, but it's, uh, most people's, that's the reason why most people get injured is because of this anterior pelvic tilt. So as the, the tightness kicks in, the pelvis shifts forward, and you can probably see that as I go into the mirror. You will have this. If you go and look in the mirror now, I can guarantee nine out of nine and a half people out of ten will have an anterior pelvic tilt, where the pelvis just tilts into this anterior position. You can see from my pant line there how it's shifted forward. This then, just do by doing that, creates a, an imbalance where the whole body shifts forward. And unfortunately, what that does is it creates this tightness in the quadriceps. So the quadriceps become very overworked, very overdominant and it also shifts the balance over the knees. And unfortunately, the knees then have to take a lot of the load because the whole body is shifted forwards. The knees, unfortunately, then take a lot of load. So most people's knee pain is caused from, from this. You, you then start exercising, you then start running. It then causes mass pain through the knee and you, 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 can't, you find you can't squat, you can't lunge, you can't run, you can't walk. Everything's impeded by it. Now, correcting this is actually fairly straightforward. We just have to put the body back upright. Now, the best way, let me just use the camera so you can see what I'm gonna do. So, the, the, the easiest remedy in the world, I'm not gonna talk about back pain or anything, because that's for a whole other video, but surely for knee pain, if you wanna reduce the amount of knee pain you've got, being caused, if you have this anterior paper tilt, you need to stretch your hip flexors. We need to lengthen them back out, because they've become tight and short, we need to stretch them back out regularly. Uh, I'm talking, do this exercise, what I'm gonna show you, three or four times a day to relieve the pain. Then you need to add some strength into the, into the posterior side of the body, but I'm not gonna bore you tears with that today. So a hip flexor stretch is simply onto the knees, take the opposite foot up to support, and then we're just gonna reach up and stretch these muscles in here. So from a side on position, fixed position, foot goes forward, and then the knee which is on the floor is the side that you stretch. And what we're doing is lengthening through. Now, I don't have uh, tight hip flex, so it doesn't, you can't really see the grimace on my face. However, when you do this, you will find, oh crap, you, you'll know about it. And, but it's all caused by tightness in here. So if you're, if you're sitting, if you work at a desk, you will, you will have these, these problems. And directly treating the knee is gonna do nothing if there's got this constant tightness and, and, and shortness of these muscles, which is caused from, from up here. So hip flexor stretches, try them three or four times a day. Do three or four per side, 15 seconds each, and you will uh, feel a massive difference. So uh, give it a whirl and see how you get on.